Okay, so now let's go ahead and learn how to customize it a little bit. So first let's add, for example, one more other item here. So we have three items and then make a different cell uh, to hold the date picker. So I'll scroll all the way up where we create the data array. We have only five elements. So I'll create one more item and I'll call it, for example, six and oops sorry six and then i'll give it a value of three and then i can add it to a data array so now we will have more items displayed let's run this example okay so now we have three items below and um, the date pickers still work nothing um, broke and done button works Okay, so now let's move date pickers to different positions. And above here in our uh, source code, we have two constants that hold date picker start and end row. So uh, it doesn't really uh, mean the start and end row, it's just these numbers point which rows hold the date picker. So we can change that. If we scroll down here, so this one will be zero and this one will be one, and this one will be two. This is why we have one and two. These two hold the date pickers. So now if we move them to different position, for example, uh, the uh, two and three values. So if we take them from here and move them somewhere else, for example, at the very bottom of our array, uh, we can run and preview it but it won't work just yet um, because uh, there's something else we need to change i just want to uh, show you that um, it will break so um, now i will close this and go and update these two values so now we have date pickers um, on positions uh, 0 1 2 3 four and five so those are four and five so i will go here and change this value to four and five and run application again and here we go it started this time so we have other items one two three above and we have two date pickers below and i can click and expand and change values and hit the done button the done button didn't work this is because we are referencing row one and it doesn't have the date picker it we can if we wanted to read date picker we need to reference row four this is because the two date pickers we have moved them uh, to uh, positions four and five so now if i run it again and um, check my date pickers and then hit the done button i get the value and it's working very well okay so and um, what you can also customize you can customize the timing again so now it's the short uh, i mean now it's medium and i can change uh, the for example um, a long style for the date and if i run it there will be a different date style display and I can change this style for the time as well okay so it's now full on uh, a name of the month September 6 2016 but it doesn't really fit uh, when it's uh, very long so let's keep it uh, medium which is the best okay so this is it for this example if you have questions guys please uh, comment below I will do my best to answer them again the uh, implementation of the swift code is not mine it's the original implementation comes from apple It's the date cell implementation in objective c and it was converted into swift uh, and published as an open source project by this uh, person and if you uh, did like this video or if you want to uh, receive more videos like this please subscribe to my channel. I publish every single week and I hope um, these videos that I published will be of some values to you.